Hi everyone, it's Secret here, and today I have a tutorial, a DIY basically. What we're doing today is making uh, glue gun flower forms. So I watched this maybe a year ago, and since it's been a year, I don't remember exactly who did it. Um, I know she was Hispanic. Uh, it's I don't know, it was a Spanish-speaking YouTube channel. Um, if you happen to know who it is, just leave me a comment. And if it's the same person, I'll look, I'll look into it. But I tried to look into it and I couldn't find anything. Um, maybe somebody knows or seen it. But basically what she did was, she made some flower petals. Let me show you one. I've made a few. This one has glitter in it. You can add whatever you like. And glitter and doggy hairs. Okay, so it's like a free form flower petal or rose petal. And I'm using a hot pink or glittered pink glue stick just so that it'll capture better on video. Basically what you do is you make yourself a puddle, get your non-stick, and then you push it down. I should have been more prepared. Okay, I'm going to set that aside, and I'm going to do a second one. These non-stick sheets I found at my grocery store, they come together like this in a pocket. I just tore them apart, basically cut them, and then I put some washi tape. They're for making grilled cheeses in your toaster. So I'm going to make my second one. And this one I'm going to do a little different, or I'm going to attempt to do a little different. Haven't tried it yet. What I wanted to do is reheat it once it cools off and try to impress this into it. Might work, might not work, I'm not sure. But what I have done is I've inked a few of them with some stays on ink and some stamps. Can you see that? I'm not sure if you can see that. So here's the first one. You see that? Here's the one we just did. Okay, and I want to kind of reheat it and try to put this in there and see what happens. Anyways, while that cools off, I'm going to make another one.
on another one. This time I'm going to be a little smarter and try to find maybe this lid. And I'm going to put one together. That's still not cool enough. Let's see if this left an impression. Yeah, it did. Left an impression. Nice impression. I'll put that aside. <clears throat> Let's see if this one's ready. See, once it cools, it should come right off like that. Then, you know how you get the little drip, little drips? Let's see, I need some more. St I'm going to use clear. Stick the clear in. You know how when you're, this glue gun doesn't do it, but my other glue gun did. It leaves little drips here and there. Like that. Well, believe it or not, I saved those little drips. And I'm glad I did because, do you see in here, the little drips, I ended up sticking in there. And that makes a really nice flower center. So that's how I started my flower center. Let's see if these are cool enough to use. No, not yet. Let's let that dry up and make some more petals. You want various sizes. To form your flower petal. I mean to form your flower, your rose, whatever it ends up looking like. I haven't put one together yet. This will be my first time. I'm experimenting on video and I figured what the heck, why not? Where'd that, where, I just throw things, I work and I throw. I'm just going to fold it over. Roses. 
rose petal petals and petters. They're not all symmetrical. Okay, so we got our little tiny little dots. You see that? I'm going to let them come together. What I can do just throw those in there just like that. Let that cool. Take these apart. cool for a little bit. Make another one. Now this one's getting the, the clear mix in it already. The clear glue gun. Just working it and working it. Okay, that came off. And we have this one going. Let's put that aside. If I waited a little longer, it'd come right off. And the longer you wait, the shinier it comes off. Okay, so here we have a bunch of pieces. Just random sizes. Some are stamped, some are not. I have not yet put one together, but we're going to do this together. So let me zoom you guys in some. Hopefully I don't burn the hell out of myself. So we're basically, with these little uh, drops, I'm going to form one of these. I'm going to attempt. I'm just going to continue working.
Need another glue stick. burnt myself. You get it? And just keep working and working and I'm pretty sure that if you reheat, if you heat the top you could probably bend it down some. I think I need one more right here. And I don't have no more pink, so we'll use this one. Isn't that pretty already? And I'm also sh pretty sure that you can probably eventually cut the bottom to flatten it up some more. Throw it in a stick. Put it on the top of a pin maybe. And it can be as big as you like. It can get bigger and bigger and bigger. I think that's pretty. That is very pretty. Now, I wonder if I can heat it up and bend this down some. Let's try. Why not? I need to hold it with something so I don't burn myself. Where are my tools? There's one. I think I want one of my craft mats here. Now this is experimental. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Let's try together. While that cools off, let's do the other one. This one here. Now this one's the one with uh, the print uh, that I stamped on. Let me show you real quick how I did that. Basically, 
Just grabbed some stays on ink. Random stamp. I glue this completely before I put it down. And put that down. Let me just grab a piece here. Remove the, all the doggy hairs. Basically just grab the stamp and some stays on. And stamped. And that's what I did. You see these pieces? That's what I kept keeping. I kept them and I just put them aside and that's what the middle ended up being. You see, I just pull it off. I don't get burned very easily because I flip those tortillas on the stove. Just continue and continue. Let me move this one over a little. So the, the lady that did this, that I was inspired by, um, all she did was use clear, just clear glue gun, and it, it was gorgeous. But then I started thinking, why, why, why not try to stamp on it? Why not try to 
add to it. And so the stamping and all of that came from my my head. <laughs> pretty. Need some more glue. You know what, I think her name started with an M. Manulalis? Manulalis? Manulalis. Oh, I think I got it. Something hobbies? Manulalis. That's terrible. Sounds, it sounds terrible the way I say it. Hobbies? Hobbies de Manulalis? Hobbies de Yolanda, something like that. Hobbies de Yolanda. Oh, I think I'm getting it. It's coming.